de que te enseñe a ser soltera. How are you, Rebel? Hi, I'm great, Reza. <laughs> yeah. So, so the first question would be, mm -hmm. if you think that we are genetically programmed to be with somebody, or it's more like society imposes us that we need to be with somebody? My personal opinion is I do think like society has imposed that and that it may not actually be the, the natural way that human beings like um, of course we're attracted to other human beings and you have relationships with others but to like choose one person and be with them for the whole your whole entire life I don't know but then again maybe my mind could change if I did meet like some amazing amazing person that I fell so much in love for, then maybe I'll change my mind about yeah. that. But so far, I haven't found the right person. So I'm like, yeah, maybe I'm just supposed to be single for my whole life. And, and I, I would be fine. I would totally be fine with that. And I love that this movie has the message that that is fine. Mm -hmm. We just really also tend to want what we don't have. Like if you're married, you'd rather be single. And if you're single, you might yeah. want to be with somebody. So, so many of my girlfriends from high school, they're all married. And they're like really envious about my situation. I can just like travel overseas. I don't have any kids. <laughs> I can just like do whatever I want. And they're like, before they used to feel sorry for me, but now they're like, oh, I see why you've done that. And yeah, you seem to have so much more fun than what we have in our lives. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> So if you could choose, um, I mean, you, obviously you're having fun right now, but what would be your ideal situation if you could, if you could uh, choose it? Um, choose someone. I think you just like, you have to make a good team and you like compliment each other and, you know, support and love one another. I think that would be like an ideal situation. I also do love when men are at the house because they can do the manly stuff. I know that's really sexist, <laughs> but I do love, you know, when you need some things moved, furniture, <laughs> stuff like that, <laughs> taps fixed, <laughs> just that kind of <laughs> basic handyman kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you think generally speaking women are drawn to players or bad boys or is it like a stereotype that doesn't it doesn't it's not true oh i think they are but it depends on like the men you've had in your life as role models or not so good role models i think um but yeah i think they are and we have a guy anders in the film um who plays like a kind of bad boy he just sleeps around a lot and a lot of women are definitely attracted to him but what, what do you think is that? Because it doesn't make any sense. What do you want to be with somebody that is like playing with you? I don't know. But some women do like it. Maybe they think like the nice sweet guy is boring. But I'd, pr I'd probably rather have the nice sweet guy. Wouldn't yeah, you? Me yeah. too. Yeah, a bit like a thousand times more. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you wouldn't want someone that cheats on you. No way. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so yeah. much. Oh, no worries. Thank, thank you. Te manda un mensaje, espera cuatro horas para contestarle. Y si usas un emoticono, te dejo sin tetas. ¡No! ¡Emoticono!